Pisces, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, I want, I want to use these ones. So I did pick those ones up, but I want to use these ones. All right, Pisces, the word that came in through my head was hasty. When I was meditating for you, hasty. You want to be a bit hasty, Pisces? You behave a little bit hastily? Or did they behave in a hasty manner? Let's take a look, shall we? And bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. And if you do want to book a legitimate private reading with me, then you have to come to my website, gentvtarot.com. It's just in the description box below. There, if you can't be bothered to type it out, just click that link. That's the only way of getting it. If I'm coming in messaging you in your DMs, that's actually not me. That's someone trying to scam you. Don't fall for it. Pisces, hasty. What's this hastiness all about? Get a little bit angry about something? And make a rash decision? And now you're regretting it? Is this this is what happened. You're having a bad day. A little bit of a bad day. This other person was having a little bit of a joke. Oh, oh, oh this is funny. I'll have to have a joke with Pisces about it. No! I'm ending it all. I'm done with your rubbish. Hate everybody. Okay, you're having a bad day. Take it how it resonates, it could have been them. So see it from, you know, see it from the perspective that works for you. <sighs> having a bit of a bad day. All right, why is this Ten of Cups here? This is what you need to know right now. Ten of Cups, look at that. Look, there's a rainbow. There's cups of love. People are dancing and hugging and stuff. Why is that here for what you need to know right now? After all this hasty behaviour. might have seemed hasty but it's actually what was supposed to happen all of the external forces and events that were going on around you to give you this hasty reaction all kind of was no siri go no go away siri we don't want to talk to you i didn't say anything about siri go away sorry sorry my what's my computer doing siri's like I'm waking up. No, Siri. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, all these external forces that were going on around you that kind of got you into this current state of, ah, I can't take any more. Yeah. It was all, <laughs> it's all part of the divine plan. And the universe got exactly what it was trying to make happen. Mwahaha is what the universe says. So you're kind of regretting it now, though. You're regretting the uh, the outburst. It's all right. It was supposed to happen. It's put a bit of a fly in the soup, a bit of a spanner in the works, I understand, but this is a little bit of time for you to have some time out. Catch your breath. Have a moment. Now you've lost this person. You told them where to go, where to stuff it, because you'd had enough of all the other things and the external forces around you. What do you want to do about it? Do you want them back? Can you get them back? This is possibilities, ships coming in and all of that. Yeah. 
So you can have this person back in your life. Can you get them back in the same way you had them before? No. Four of Cups in reverse. This is a person who may forgive you for said outburst and behaviour but won't forget about it. That's for sure. I think, you know, if, if this was a really serious, deep relationship with someone, you might get them back as a friend. But not even a best friend. Not even a really, really good friend. Just a casual, hi, how are you, kind of friend. Weather's nice. I... I I think that you could have this person back in your life, but you won't get them back as a... It won't be the same. Ah, but what if I really apologise? Give them gifts and, and tell them I'm really sorry. And I grovel. Devil. In fact, look, these people are like, there's a devil. And these people are like, oh, please, devil, don't don't be all devilly with us. The devil's like, ah, devil, I will kick your... No, sorry, no, I'll not go there. I'll stop storytelling. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get this person back. You'll get them back to a certain extent, yes. There is, like, well, that little ship can come in. Yeah, you can have them back, just not in the capacity you had them before. If this was a deep, beautiful, gorgeous relationship, you can have them back as a friend. But like way down the scale of friends. This is not someone you go out to the movies with or, you know. Brush each other's hair and talk about relationships. This is a casual friendship from now on, I think coming up in the near future for you then that would be a mistake that would be a crazy mistake that would be a really bad mistake okay Jumping into a relationship with somebody uh, This is a knee-jerk reaction on your part I know if you're anything don't you think you might have probably Maybe you should have learned from the last knee-jerk reaction here and uh, Hasty behavior this is all this looks like more hasty behavior here jumping into something with somebody else. Uh, I don't think this person's single either. Mm, I'm getting more hasty behaviour coming up in the future. This is, this is a uh, lashing out. Don't be lashing out. I would say if that's what you're going to be doing, think it through. No more hasty behaviour, no lashing out. Think it through, and I think if you think it through, and you take your time, and you do this like a grown-up, you're going to move on to the next cycle of your life here, which is a positive one. If you're following these same patterns and knee-jerking and being hasty, and that's your word for the day, if you're going to keep carry on being hasty, then you're not going to get the goodies, all right? This person that you've lost recently, who might possibly come back as a friend, maybe. I'm going to take this into extent where I'm going to ask how they really feel about you. What's their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? Well, let's take a look at this outcome. We've got the King of Pentacles. If you, I just feel like you could, yeah. We've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. 
you could do some good healing here and get on with that and be happy and move forwards get your ten of pentacles on or you can carry on being hasty and messing up and hurting yourself and hurting other people it's entirely up to you The fiery climax approaches. Oh my gosh. Mr. No, yo, this is sabotage. Oh my god, it's a mirage. You know that I'm proud of that. Can't get the words out. Ooh, I want to be with you everywhere. If you don't know who that song's by, shame on you. It's by Fleetwood Mac, by the way. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch Extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there.